Megan is in for Ryan, and the Bulls are finally showing what they can do when they have all of their players back. Yeah, and they're looking good, and they are fun to watch. Well, the rebuilding Bulls have been surprising everyone, and their offense just got better with guard Zach Levine making his long-awaited return. They are 2-0 and with Levine starting, but we'll see how Zach and the Bulls stack up against the defending champion Golden State Warriors tomorrow. It could be his final game playing on a 20-minute limit. Levine has averaged 16 points on 57% shooting. A good start, but he knows there's plenty to improve on. I still, you know, I'm upset over certain plays and certain things I do out there just because I, I put in so much hard work off the court. And I watch film and, you know, I expect myself to do good, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I'm playing the way I am. I want to continue that. I got in a good rhythm early last couple games and, you know, we're playing the right way. We won the last two, so just keep that same trend going. With Zach Levine starting now, Denzel Valentine is on the bench, but it's got to help that one of his biggest supporters is in Chicago with him. His brother, Drew, is a first-year assistant basketball coach at Loyola. They not only look alike, but their brotherly bond is strong. Denzel and Drew, the Valentine brothers, are often mistaken for each other. Everybody says we're twins, you know, where we go, are you guys twins? Nah. They always go, hey, Denzel, uh, take a picture with me. And I always go, uh, sorry, that's my brother. And then they go, ah, uh, we'll, we'll take you anyway. Drew, three years older than Bulls forward Denzel, joined his little brother in Chicago this past summer as an assistant basketball coach at Loyola. They are each other's biggest cheerleaders. Whenever he comes to my games, um, People tell me in the stands how locked in he'd be up and serious he'd be up there you know, really? just watching me. And, um, I'm the same way when I go see him and play. I'm locked oh, in to his team. Drew is the winningest player in Oakland University history. He went on to be a graduate assistant at Michigan State when Denzel was a star for the Spartans. So Drew was Denzel's boss, as they like to joke. Yeah, I was the boss for a little bit, but I've always, you know, bet, kind of played that role with him our whole lives. I've always, you know, kind of just tried to lead him, guide him, and, and kind of be a mentor. You know, through tough times, through good times, he would keep me, you know, level-headed and just keep me, keep me getting better. They are extremely close, but they differ on one thing. We always competed. I, my dad used to have to split us up because we used to, we used to play one-on-one -on -one at the uh, at the athletic club and. We used to be causing the scene and all that, <laughs> arguing and everything, but it was always fun. We really never had fights. Like, it's it's the weirdest thing. Like, we're just supportive of each other and want to see each other do well, but we both are competitive to the point where, like, we both want to be great at what we do, and, you know, we push each other to work harder. No matter what he does, whether it's NBA or head, uh, college head coach, um, I think he's going to be successful. So I'm I'm just happy for him. They are each other's biggest cheerleaders, but huge props to their parents, right? Oh, to yes. have two successful men. Um, their mother is now here in Chicago joining them, and their dad is a basketball coach, so that's where they get it all from. They can do a little switch, and some of us wouldn't be able to tell. I, it's amazing. <laughs> and when you see them in person, you're like, wow. I mean, is, they really look a lot alike. It's stunning that they're not twins. Yes, yeah. right? No. Nope. No. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Thanks. Thanks.